Good evening and welcome to this service of night prayer for the Thursday in Passion Tide Week. Today we have commemorated the Annunciation of our Lord to the Blessed Virgin Mary and in this service we continue to reflect on the farewell words of Jesus to his disciples as recorded in St John's Gospel. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And so we reflect on this day which is ending, recalling our failures to love God and one another. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, for ever. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, our souls inspire, enlighten with celestial fire. Now the anointing spirit out, for thy sinful gifts impart. Anoint and cheer our soiled face with the abundance of our grace. Keep our foes, give peace at home, where thou art guide, no ill can come. Teach us to know the Father, Son, and we be both to be but one, that through the ages all along there shall be our endless song. Praise to the eternal merit, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 131 and Psalm 146. O Lord, my heart is not proud, my eyes are not raised in haughty looks. I do not occupy myself with great matters, with things that are too high for me. But I have quieted and stilled my soul, like a weaned child on its mother's breast. So my soul is quieted within me. O Israel, trust in the Lord, from this time and forth for evermore. The Lord shall reign for ever. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps his promise for ever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord loses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. 
The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and the widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. The Lord shall reign forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from St John's Gospel, chapter 14, beginning to read at verse 15. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will see me no longer, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and re reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will receive yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this, before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us be on our way.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and God as while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we give thanks for Christ's promise of the gift of the Holy Spirit, we acknowledge too the pain of separation that he had to depart from the earth. And as he prepares to do that, so we hold in mind all of those who are separated from their loved ones this night, all of those who are separated by bereavement, by sickness, by isolation. We pray for those who are preparing for the end of their life, for those who care and those who support them. And we give thanks for the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the one who reminds us of Christ's presence. May your spirit bring comfort and life to the dark and broken places of our lives and the dark and broken places of the world. May your spirit bring comfort and hope to the downcast and the suffering. May your spirit shield those in greatest need and bring your blessing to those who look to you. And as you are lifted up, so may your spirit be poured out upon the world that you came to save. May we earnestly seek the gifts of that Spirit to use each day of our lives. In a moment's quiet, we pray that your Spirit of peace, love and gentleness may be upon us and those whom we love. And so, Lord, we pray, strengthen us for the night and the day which lies ahead, that we may love you more dearly and follow you more nearly each day of our lives. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. I wish you a good night and we will be together again tomorrow evening.